Hey everyone, Taylor of Rejuve Medical Fitness here. Today I'll be taking you through a quick and easy dynamic warm up. So we're gonna get started right away. We have our hands up, we're gonna run on the spot, punching in front, getting everything moving, getting the shoulders and arms warmed up. Excellent. And then going into some arm swings in front, really opening up through the chest. Squeezing the shoulder blades in behind as you bring the arms out. Keep the feet moving a bit. One high, one low. So dynamic warm-ups are really important to do. Uh, they're great for when you just wake up in the morning. Good for warming up, of course. Cooling down. Great for when you've been sitting at a computer chair too long. You just need to get everything moving again. Awesome. Rolling the shoulders forward. Still keeping the feet moving. Big circles with the shoulders, flowing through that full range of motion, backwards. There we go, full arm swings up and back, reaching up nice and high. Once again, full joint range of, joint range of motion. Forwards. Awesome. So also dynamic warm-ups are really great just to reawaken the nervous system get the blood flowing into the muscles, and just really leaves you feeling great after it's done. Awesome, so then we're moving into a uh, ankle and wrist rotation, and I have a support here just in case I need it for balance. Just rolling softly through a full range of motion with both the ankle and the wrist. Other way. Awesome, just flowing through that full range of motion. Awesome, other side. Nice big circles. And other way. Getting that knee moving, getting that ankle moving. Awesome. Okay, moving into some hip rotations. We'll keep our hands up and making nice big circles with the hips. Pretend you've got a hula hoop and you've got to keep it going. Keeping the feet planted. Softening through the knees, just allowing the hips to move. Other direction. Flowing through a full hip range of motion in as big of circles as you can. Excellent. All right, then we're going feet a little bit wider apart, legs stay nice and straight, raising the hands up and making nice circles with the trunk. You're gonna to try to keep your back neutral. So I'm not allowing my back to round over, I'm keeping my eyes forward, making nice big circles. And you might be just at small circles for right now, or you might be at larger circles. Just go with whatever feels comfortable for you. Other direction. Getting a nice stretch on the hamstrings on the way down, keeping those legs straight. Nice full circles. Awesome. And then we're gonna go feet together, hands on the knees, gentle knee bends forward and back. So I should also note, a dynamic warm up like this is gonna be awesome to do before any type of physical activity. Could be gardening, sports, could be even just walking. It's just really important to do a warm up like this just to prevent injury. Knees off to one side, making little circles. Softening through the knees again. This should be fairly gentle on the knees. Other direction. Awesome, keeping those feet nice and planted. And going down and out with the knees. A little bit of coordination here. Just bringing the knees out as wide as you can. And then the other direction. Awesome, bring those knees out wide as you can. Full range. Excellent, then we're just gonna go into some squats here so you can do this just nice and easy. Hinging back through the hips, squatting back, just like you're sitting back in a chair. If you're worried about your balance at all, feel free to hold on to something. And just squatting back. Thinking about going back through the hips and not just simply bending through the knees. And once again, if you can only get partial of the way down, that's all right. 
If you have a little bit more range, going all the way down. Toes are pointing out. Couple more. All right, so now we're gonna move on to some hip swings. So you can have a support handy for this one. One hand on that support and big swings forward and back with the leg. Really important to keep a nice neutral spine for this one. So there's no leaning forward like that. Everything stays up nice and tall as we swing just the leg, opening up through the hips. Turning to face the other side. Nice big swings forward and back. And depending on where you're at, it might be a smaller swing, it might just be that, that's okay. As you get more used to it, swinging a little bit larger. Awesome, a couple more. Perfect. All right, then we're going into a wall push-up. So find a nearby wall, hands planted on that wall, and you're going to go chest towards the wall and back away. Nice and slow, feeling the muscles contract, feeling the chest, feeling the shoulder blades come together as you come closer to the wall. A couple more. Excellent, going into the next one. So we're gonna raise a leg and we're gonna do a twist at the same time. One, two, one, two, one, two. Bring that leg up as high as you can, getting a little crunch at the top, rotating through the trunk. And if you have it in you, you can go a little bit quicker on it. Very good, a couple more. Awesome, then we're just gonna finish with a trunk rotation here. So we're gonna rotate towards one side, reach up high with one arm, reach in behind with the other, and then switch. Reaching up as high as you can with that upper hand, and then pulling down. Reach up high, and pull. Also reaching that back hand in behind you as far as you can. Really getting a nice twist through the trunk. Couple more. Excellent. All right, so that is that five minute warm up there. Once again, super easy to do and really important to do before physical activities such as walking, sports, gardening. So doing a little quick warm up before that activity and then do a little quick cool down as well after you've done it. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys and we'll see you in the next episode.